I gotta tell you, it feels a little strange, but it feels good. It's Monday morning. I'm heading towards the city. Probably about half an hour ride for me. A friend of a friend of a friend called me up yesterday and said, Pete, I have this storage unit that I need to get out of get out of there by the end of the month. And I got few few items there that I want you to take a look at it and see if you want to buy it from me. I'm like, listen, <laughs> I am all over it because I've been I've been locked up for over a month, no deals. So I'm kind of anxious to go there and see. I got my mask. I got my mask. I got the gloves. I got the sanitizer. Should be ready to go. Should be good to go. I'm excited. So uh, he does not want me to film anything there. So if I buy some things, obviously. I'll show it to you guys but I'm excited it just feels good to get out and go and do something and, and buy some merchandise so I should be there shortly so I just finished my deal I bought a few items nothing spectacular I spent 100 bucks on everything um, as soon as I get as soon as I get back home I uh, I will show you guys what I got but I'm driving, this is literally five minutes away from my old store that a lot of you might not seen it. I'm gonna stop by and show you guys. I'm on Harlem Avenue in Chicago. I'm gonna stop by and see if there's anybody in that unit. Cause I remember since I moved out uh, three years, it's gonna be almost three years now. I don't think it's been rented out. Last time I was here, it was probably about a year ago, it was still sitting empty. So I'm kind of curious to drive by and see if the place is rented or not. Should be there momentarily. Just a second here. Why is this semi parked here? Coming up right around this semi here. Uh, right by the bus stop. Let me pull over here. Oh yeah, there is something here. Finally something open up. Obviously it's closed at the moment. It's a hookah place. You can buy your hookahs and pipes and tobacco. Oh no, it says coming soon. Coming soon. All right. Well, it took him three, year, three years to rent out this little place. We had, this was about 1200 square feet and we had a little parking right up front here for like four cars so yep yeah, that was it this was a very very busy it is very busy street here in Chicago Harlem Avenue but that was the main problem too busy too quick people just passing by and they wouldn't stop so plus the parking was always full here uh, always spots taken you know because it's kind of public parking it wasn't reserved just to my store so I always had a problem with people pulling up with merchandise and they had to look for a parking spot and they had to walk who knows how long it was a bad bad location and it's getting warm 62 degrees outside it's nice that's what they always say location 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 just because the street was super busy, it didn't it didn't do anything. It has to be busy, but it has to be convenient as well. And this was not convenient at all. So that's how it goes sometimes. We ran that store for nine months and we had to pull a plug. Maybe once again, someday. But if I do it, it will be downtown Chicago. And I'll be very niche and specialized store so we'll see one day maybe maybe all right i made it back home so nice 68 degrees feels so good took my sweatshirt off just t-shirt love it all right guys all right so everything i got in the back of this truck is what i picked up like my tripod ha it's better work just like that hold on hold on that looks good right yep that should work all right first let's grab the little guy 
little Polaroid camera. This stuff already kind of fell off. The market is kind of, uh, it used to be a hot product. Although this one is the autofocus, one step autofocus one. And this is made in United Kingdom. So this is a British one. The ones that have a round flash on top, they used to bring more money and they especially when they were made in England but this whole market with Polaroid kind of flop lately so this is I'll be lucky if I get I don't know 20 bucks not even that because the strap is broken on the side here maybe $15 on this and this takes the 600 film oh there's actually a cartridge in here empty this is probably the worst buy out of the whole bundle here Next, so this is a little Sony boombox. This is a model CFD S05 CD player, cassette, nothing spectacular. Uh, I was able to power everything on that I got here. The loading dock that I was loading this up had an outlet, so I was able because you know how it is in storage units, there's no outlets anywhere right so we took everything to the loading dock there was a outlet there and i was able to power everything on and that's all i did just basic power uh, this has an antenna in good condition every i gotta tell you everything is pretty damn dirty at least the battery compartment is clean so uh, not not big money here this is maybe 25 30 dollars 30 bucks i would say after i clean it up Then we got this Sony CD player and an old school, old school iPod connector here. And then of course you got the radio also as well. Believe it or not, these actually, every time I put these out for sale in a shop, they actually bring pretty good money. Uh, if they're in a good condition, although this one is pretty scratched up. When they're in a good condition, they can bring like 100, 120 bucks just because it's Sony stuff. Now this one, ouch. comes with two speakers. This one is pretty beat up, meaning dirty scratches here on top. Speaker has scratches on the side. So I can still probably get about 50, maybe 60 bucks in a shop after I clean it up. Next, we got this Sony receiver. This is a newer receiver. This is a model STR-DH550. Somebody's running a crazy motorcycle there or something. It's got four HDMI inputs on it, but I do not have a remote control. It is pretty dirty. I got to clean it up. They're not expensive when they're new. They're maybe a couple hundred bucks. So for a used one with the remote, I would probably get like hundred bucks. Without the remote, maybe 60, 70 bucks. Yeah, that's where I'll probably get uh, in a shop. About $60 for this unit. And nothing special here, just a two ton jack. At least this thing is brand new. It's brand spanking new, not a rust on it, never been underneath the car. Um, they're not expensive when they're new. They're like $40 at Walmart. So in a shop, I'll put this out for 25 bucks. That's what I usually get for these. All right, here's the Monster. And this thing is filthy, but it works. Uh oh, I think I just broke something here. Maybe they were like that. These are the flaps. Oh no, they're in. Uh, look how filthy this thing is. So every year in the shop I sell these units. This is the portable unit that runs on wheels. And then you attach 
gonna attach this back pipe or hose, whatever you wanna call it, extendable to the window. People like these, they're usually about 250 bucks, 300 bucks new, depending on a model and how big they are. I usually get for these uh, about 80 to 100 in a shop. Now this one is pretty filthy, I gotta clean it up. He said he hasn't used this one in probably three or four years. So, I don't know, but it will clean up. I mean, it's just dirt, it's just a surface dirt, but that's probably the ugliest unit I ever seen though. Or I mean the dirtiest. The best unit is this guy, best for last. It's a camcorder. And when he called me, this is what he originally told me that he has. Oh, I got a camera and I got a couple radios and I asked him what kind of camera and I knew this was gonna be worth my trip. So this is a Sony Handycam Digital 8 with a flip screen. Comes with two batteries, all the cables. Believe it or not, these are bringing still crazy money. If it's in a good working order with two batteries, all the cables, a carrying bag like this, all the AV cables, which I have everything here, original, this will bring anywhere between 130 to about 160 bucks, depending on the condition. This is pretty clean and it's got the bags, got everything in it. So this was the best buy. And like I said, I paid 100 bucks for everything. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was a strange, not so much negotiation. There was really no negotiation there, but when I got there, I was wearing mask. He was wearing mask. I was wearing gloves. He was wearing gloves. He popped the unit up and I'm standing like eight, 10 feet away from him. It's, this was a big unit. It was a 10 by 30 or like 15 by 30, really big. He had a lot of furniture there and he had like a middle aisle in the middle of the unit. And, and there was one area really when he had some electronics and rest of the stuff, it was just furniture and just household crap, tchotchkes, none of the stuff I really wanted. There was really nothing else besides what you see here. It was weird. He wouldn't say anything, it was very quiet. I looked at my stuff, you know, and I asked him how much he wanted. He said, I don't know, just shoot me a price. And I looked at everything and I'm like, okay, everything that I'm getting here needs cleaning, especially like this AC unit. I know I can get most of my money back just with this camcorder. And, and the worst part is, you know, this is all electronic, so I'm not testing anything. I'm just taking his word for it that it works, right? The only testing I did later, right before we loaded to the truck, is it was at the loading dock that I plugged in the stuff and turned it on. Um, I did let the AC unit run for about three, four minutes and it started cooling. So I know that works good, but rest of the stuff, quick power on, that's it. But anyway, I knew if I get my money back with this, so, I just shot him a hundred bucks. I said, hundred bucks for everything. He says, deal, like, just like that. He says, deal. There was no negotiation or anything. I think he just wanted to get rid of some stuff. So I was happy to get this stuff at the hundred bucks. I can probably get about, I don't know. I'm thinking about 300 bucks out of this. So a couple, couple hundred dollar profit. But I tell you, it was weird. You know, me having that mask on and him, I think this whole thing that we're gonna go through now, if we do get any estate sales or garage sales, it's gonna be a little weird, you know? It felt really uncomfortable doing this whole deal. And he was trying to keep the distance from me and I was trying to keep the distance, right? And then immediately after I loaded, oh, this was the funny thing too. And, you know, I take my money out and we both have gloves on and I take the money out and as I'm counting the money out, I hand him, I hand him the, the hundred bucks and he says, hold on. And he reaches in his pocket and pulls out like a little plastic Ziploc bag, like a sandwich bag. He opens it up and he says, drop it in there. So I dropped the hundred bucks in there. He went, um, which is great idea, I guess, you know? So, and then 
after I loaded everything, the first thing I did when I got into the car, right, I put sanitizer twice all over my hands, you know, cleaned it up. And it's just weird. This is never gonna be the same, at least for a while. It's it's crazy. It's a strange feeling. I'm telling you, it was a good feeling that I bought something because I haven't done it in, in you know like five or six weeks now. But it was weird. It was literally, I don't know. Look at this, guys. A little bit elbow grease, huh? A little bit of a uh, good and clean disinfecting wipes. This thing looks like brand new. Wash the filters. They look like new. Yeah, I think I just increased at least $20, $30 on this unit. It took me five minutes. All right, maybe 10 minutes with the filters. Love it. And you know what's funny? He told me that he had the storage unit like for three and a half years. So you know everything that it's in that storage unit and especially all this older stuff, it's been there forever, right? So most likely none of this stuff is it hasn't been exposed to the virus right so there's hardly any chance that this would have anything on it but it's still it's just weird you know anyway guys i hope you enjoyed it I, it was fun for me because it was finally something different kind of back to norm, normal semi-normal so let me load this back up so i can take it to the shop tomorrow and uh thanks for watching guys i appreciate it if you enjoyed this video Give that thumb up, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.